Hey everyone, in the news this week, there were more developments in the SNP's money scandal. Police apparently seized a number of items, including a wheelbarrow, presumably the one used to move the piles of money from the SNP's office into Nicola Sturgeon's garden shed. From what I can gather speaking to folk, 50% of people in Scotland think the story is an important issue, 50% of people are bored scunnered hearing about it, and the remaining 10% of people are unsure. And those numbers, of course, don't add up to 100% because the maths was done by Nicola's husband. There's also plenty of destruction both at the local election ballot boxes and also an assassination attempt against Vladimir Putin after a drone attack to Kremlin. Russian authorities have been quick to blame Ukraine, whilst many in the West accuse Russia of doing it to themselves as an excuse to escalate the war and assassinate Zelensky. This of course makes a pleasant change from the BBC trying to blame the assassination attempt on climate change, although the Ukraine situation is quite unsettling with the Russians openly threatening to use nuclear weapons. We're all very aware that if Kiev got a new king, it'd be very different to London getting its new king. And talking of which, this was the weekend that Prince Charles finally became King Charles and got a new hat, by which I mean a very old hat. There's been months of waiting, of course. It reminds me a bit like when I was a kid and I'd save up the tokens in the back of the cereal box and post them off and have to wait months for the toy to arrive. I was vaguely hoping that the ceremony would have included a portion where Charles pointed at Andrew, singing, I'm the king of the castle and you're the dirty wee rascal. But as such, it all went off as you'd expect, a bit like a big wedding, really, except at Charles and Camilla's wedding, his Stephen Fry to give a speech at the end of it. Seems a bit of a missed opportunity, really. Afterwards, they drove off in the state coach, and as a touching tribute to Diana, neither the king or queen were wearing a seatbelt. As for now, the last thing to implement is the new coinage, with Charles's face replacing that of the queen's. Some people probably won't like the new coins, but those are people who don't like change. Yeah. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.